hey guys welcome back to my channel before i even jump into today's video i just want to say thank you to you all who watch my videos to all my lovely subscribers for all those who always drop a comment for me just so i know what you think so i know that you guys are watching me like you know i just really feel grateful my heart is full and i sincerely appreciate you guys so thank you uh today's video is actually something different from what i usually do i actually got a message from a subscriber and this is what she had to say um of course i told her i was going to put it out there for my subscribers for my viewers to um politely give her um advice because i told her i don't think i'm the best placed person to you know advise her i've been unmarried yes but not for too long i believe there are more experienced people out there um a lot of mature people watch me so i thought yeah probably someone will be able to give her like better advice than i would um so this is what she had to say hi dolly good day hope you and your family are well Please, I am in a relationship dilemma and I wanted to ask if you can help me out with an advice to a junior one. Please, if you can be of help, I will be so grateful. I and my boyfriend have been dating for three years, eight months now. We started during our university days, precisely year two, and after the third year, he took me to his family. And due to other family crises, I was forced to stay there, so I've been with his family for two years now. But after the first year, he started saying, I am copying his mother's attitude towards his father, and I'm using it on him. So I told him I didn't notice that, but I would change from it. So for like a year now, we have been having quarrels, but we resolve and we are fine, just like, just like that. So since July, he has been complaining he sees me more as a sister and stuff. But there is a girl he is dating and the girl has taken herself so close to every friend he is related to and is now trying to find her way into the family. I have opted to leave but his family won't let me, especially his father and mother. But the way he acts leaves me with hurt and pain. The other day I got to asking him questions. He said he is not the one introducing the girl to his friends but the girl bringing herself to them and expressing her feelings towards him to them but that none of our problems is because of the girl so i have decided to be on my own and not keep any links with him because whenever i see him i feel bad i feel bad he treated me as such after so many sacrifices and challenges i have put up just to save the relationship because the more i see him the hatred grows and my thoughts become wild please help me out on this if there's a possibility of a rebirth in the relationship or should i do as i have planned please i really need your advice at least you are married and you can tell and you can better tell thanks i wait heatedly on your reply god bless you take care bye so um that's what she had to say um of course on the spot let me just read out what i told her i was like oh my god this is heartbreaking i am so sorry to hear this for crying out loud how can he see you like a sister please you know all your brothers and sisters already you don't need more uh tell him that of course um then i went ahead to say leave his home and stay away from him i wouldn't have said you should end the relationship but another girl in the picture and you know of and he isn't denying it is blatantly disrespectful and disrespect is unhealthy in a relationship then I told her I was going to film a video and, you know, um, let people give um, positive, constructive um, advice to her. She's, she's much younger than me. That's one thing I know for sure. And she just needs advice. So, yeah, that's why I'm filming this video to know what you guys think. Because personally, um, for crying out loud, like I told her, I don't know how this guy can see her like a sister. Hell to the no. I know all my siblings out there. I know all. I know even my extended family, fourth, fifth generation cousins and stuff. I don't need no additional brothers or sisters in my life. If I'm dating you, and the more we get close, I think getting close is instead very healthy for the relationship because 
um, you tend to trust me more and everything and me living in because from what she has said she does not have she has absolutely no problem with his family meaning she's in their good books she treats them well she is nice to them especially if the father and mother really like her then that means yeah she's a decent person she's a nice person but I need her to even understand that she's not at the same time she's not dating his father nor his mother she is dating the guy if the guy is not into the relationship anymore to me it's time for her to leave the home to start with she shouldn't live there anymore in as much as both parents or uh, in as much as um, the guy's parents want her to, to um, continue living with them i don't think it's healthy she needs to move away you know take several steps back and look at the situation again second point is this other girl that she apparently knows of and confronted the boy about and the boy is not denying it he's giving excuses that she is the, the the side chick is the one forcing herself uh into his circle of friends and his family you know i think there's a problem i think it's disrespectful and that's where there's a big problem for me to say she should quit her relationship i can't decide for her but i definitely think she should have a one-on-one -on -one relation uh, um talk sit down with this guy and lay the cards on the table one are you dating this girl if you're not dating this girl and whatever is going on with her i don't want it if the guy cannot end in that i'm sorry to say but i think it's time for her to end that relationship because she's not being appreciated she's she may go on but um after some time it may affect like just her 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 psychology and everything i think it's better um, it's better to be single than to be in an unhealthy relationship. That's what I think. I don't know what you guys think. Please, I beg you, do not leave this video without dropping a comment, a positive one, please, and a polite one, um, because she's definitely going to be watching this video. So uh, please drop a comment so she will know what you guys think, and I hopefully, I hope for her, she will take um, the best decision for herself. So yeah. That's what this video is about. I appreciate that she reached out to me. She found me um, good enough to be able to even advise her positively. I appreciate that immensely. So yeah, that's it. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. Today is an amazing day. Today is my husband's birthday. Today is a close friend's birthday. So yeah. Oh, and before I go, I October is also the month of breast cancer awareness. I really wanted to just talk about this briefly. Always make sure you check yourself, girls. You're never too young to, you know, check yourself. When I say check yourself, is to just check your breast. If there's any lump in there, if you feel something funny, um, go see a doctor so they check you out to make sure everything is fine. And even if you check yourself and there's a lump or you go to the hospital and they tell you something is not right, do not panic. I think it's better when you find out early. It could be a cyst. It could be nothing it may not be cancerous bottom line so please make sure you check yourself breast cancer is real cancer as a whole is real let's um be aware let's check ourselves and guys to encourage your partners encourage your sisters always check themselves you know so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to click that subscribe button on your way out and don't forget to click the bell beside it and always like i always say don't forget to check my description uh, box because i always go in depth as to the videos i film so yeah thank you guys for watching see you in the next video bye